So this is Time Clickers. Uh, it is a cookie clicker esque game, and uh, you know what? It's it's really really good compared to a lot of the others that I played. It's better than Cookie Clicker. If you've watched any of my streams, you see that I've been playing uh, Sakura Clicker on the side. And this is available apparently on some other platforms, but I don't really care about that because I have a PC. Um, and just so you can see, there's decent options here. Um, I guess I can, I can lock this to 60 considering uh, what I will be having. Uh, this being recorded. So, um, essentially you've got a gun and you can you shoot to click things. Obviously I'm, I'm a little bit deep into the game. There's actually uh, a couple thousand levels. Each of your dudes, I think the guy has mapped out to uh, level 5,000 and, and perhaps beyond. And, and as you can see in these Oh, the, the notes were in the title screen. Um, they're still developing it. And you've got these abilities here that you can click, and there's a lovely button that lets you press space to do it. And notice that you're shooting the gun at these cubes. Moreover, notice that the clicking analog uh, actually matters. There's a little uh, auto-targeting thing which will target the blue cube um, but it's really, really slow. Um, and, and, and not really a lot of fun to leave on unless you're leaving your, your computer doing it or you're trying to fuck with the menus. Um, but that being the case, I'm going to go ahead and time warp. These time cubes that you get are the equivalent of... Uh, the golden chips, I think they're called, in uh, Cookie Clicker, or the spirits from Sakura Clicker, and then you're just presented with with a bunch of cubes. And my damage right now is pretty high because I've I've reset a few times. I've, I've gotten a bunch of achievements while playing, and also these time cubes that you get, um, seven point seven DPS. Um, you can spend them to upgrade your your stuff. Uh, you can increase the duration of your abilities, team DPS, etc., and so on. And I think what I want to try was to get that, but but I'm not really sure how I want to how I want to spend these. Um, I guess I'll just do some lame thing like that. So, uh, I didn't even know that the flak cannon could miss. Okay, there. I spent all my cubes. And, and in the end, I'm going to say, you should check this out, because it's free. I don't actually know how they monetize it. Um, and you, I'm starting with some money because... Just, just because. And... This, this is the game, and it manages to be um, engaging so much so that I, I think, played it for three hours straight yesterday. And this is the whole game. You hire other guns that will auto-shoot for you. Uh, the pistol just picks something and shoots it. The flat cannon shoots three random blocks. And you're just treated to this effective light show. And what I think is great is that, well, not so much true right now, uh, because of all the upgrades that I've given my things, uh, all my guys, um, damages that you do is still relevant. Now look, my click damage is 1, and then I've got some buffs that, that boost it up to 63. And then these little guys give you a fuck ton of money. Um, and they're rainbow blocks that give you a fuck ton of money. And every ten levels, there's a... Every five levels, there's a mini-boss, and every ten levels, 
there is a mini boss. No, every ten levels there's a big the boss. And then you get these active abilities you can unlock, and that's fairly standard. Um, ordinarily, it would be ten bullets per second for thirty seconds. But what I think makes this a remarkable game is the fact that because of upgrades that you get, it manages to make your click damage feel worthwhile. You're not going to be able to tell here because of how much damage I'm ordinarily doing. But normally in these clicking games, there comes a point in time where the clicking that you're doing is, is fucking meaningless. Like if you play a Sakura clicker for a while, it, it, it's obvious that your clicking is now meaningless and it's just your party members that are doing all the work. Um, So, so yeah. Here's the mini boss. Uh, notice after this, it's going to automatically trigger uh, the ability, and it's just going to be doing stuff. And it doesn't trigger it for the full 30 seconds, but it doesn't put the cooldown. So, like from here, I could go immediately into using the ability, or I could have used the ability during during the boss fight. But, what's nice is, is that my clicking still feels meaningful. Even though I've only done one pistol upgrade, you know, these, these cubes are visibly damaged by my shooting. As opposed to looking at, oh, I'm doing 84 damage per click, and the fucking thing's got, you know, 1,000 health. Or 10,000 health. Um, because the health is all divvied up amongst all these cubes, it's really nice because my clicking matters. And this is the first cookie clicker game that I've come across where it feels like that. There are probably lots of other examples. I don't play a ton of, of, of games in this genre. Uh, I think this is actually the third one I've played. But it's really nice to feel that way. Um, so, there is this upgrade tree that you get from clicking time cubes. Time cubes do not appear until level 100. So, you're going to be in this for the, for the long haul. And it's been my experience that you always get 10 cubes every time you click. Uh, every time you get to level 100. And what's nice is that each cube you get ups your DPS by 10%. I'm assuming in a linear fashion. If it was multiplicative, um, I'd probably already be level 100, at level 100 by now. Um, and then at level 1000, you start getting weapon cubes to upgrade your gun. And I haven't gotten that far. I think the furthest I've gotten is like level 150. Actually, I think it was, it was where I restarted from. Um, so I got up to level 177, and here I'm going to, going to go ahead and click the ability. Well, no, let's go ahead and fail this boss. In other, like in Sakura Clicker, if you fail a boss, you just start killing regular dudes. And here it's kind of nice because there's an incentive to keep trying it and and going through because you get money for each cube that you destroy. So even though you fail, you didn't, you know, you're not entirely out of the long run. So I'm going to go ahead and use my ability here. Um, it's almost still not enough to make a difference. Um, I'll go ahead and add in some, some of my own clicking. Um, and because of the nature of some of the abilities, uh, once there are fewer cubes, you start doing less damage because some of them are, are, you know, shoot three random things, and if there's only two things to shoot, then you're only getting two thirds of your damage. But you know, you go through, or alternately, if you had failed again, you'd still have all that extra gold, and you could start uh, upgrading, upgrading your dude. Like here, I can increase the DPS. And eventually this guy just starts like melting through critters. 
uh, the flat cannon normally shoots three random blocks. Eventually, uh, it'll shoot six. Uh, here, you focus on three blocks until they're destroyed, so it's like one third of the pulse pistol, um, and eventually you get six. And then there's a point in time in the game where where you don't get that anymore, and and it's a little bit uh, disheartening, fusing. But that's okay, because, you know, th these numbers just keep going up and up and up and up. Um, and, and this, at the beginning, this little machine gun destruction of everything is so very satisfying. Now, this is what I find so interesting. Increase, increase click pistol damage by half percent of the total DPS. So, this is structured somehow so that this little 84 damage that, you know, it's like really meaningless compared to how fast everything else is going. But, all of a sudden, I'm doing uh, 60,000, no, 6,000 damage per click, which is on par with what some of these are doing. Now, not so much right now, but, but it does get there. So I'm gonna turn on idle mode. <clears throat> Just because. This lets you see how it, how it tracks things. It always tracks the blue thing, and it's very slow. If you have uh, configurations that are all spread out all over the place, and it's really kind of um, frustrating. And, okay, so now here, at this level up thing, this is an interesting part of the level up. As far as I can tell, when you level up, your DPS goes up, but you lose these fire rate buffs. But that's okay, because you get some of them back. Plus, notice that my DPS didn't go away when I lost that one buff to uh, the, the half percent increase. So, it, it's just very well tuned. And I don't know how they're making money off of this unless this is just to drive uh, people to be picking up the, the iPhone and, and Android apps. And they're monetizing it that way. But... But so now we're at a point where, where you, you can see what I'm talking about, how like one shot kills the reds. And, and I feel like I'm still helping as opposed to just mindlessly clicking on some anime chicks tits. You know. So there are achievements you can get, um, and the, getting the achievement all increases your DPS. There's statistics, so you can see the total time warps. T in other words, the number of times I've reset. Um, the number of time cubes I've accumulated through those resets. The highest wave I've reached. Total gold collected. And so on. Um, and then there are these artifacts. That's this talent tree. I don't think we're going to get to the point where I can uh, get enough point to show you the, the other abilities for the weapons. But they're ones that actually stick in the auto clicker. Now, like I was saying, it feels like pistol damage is still relevant. And I think that's important because I think a lot of people get irritated with a lot of the other uh, cookie clickers because, I mean, there's a point where you just run the auto clicker because, you know, otherwise clicking is just pointless. So you're sitting there having the thing auto click hundred or thousand times a second. Here, I don't feel the compulsion to do that because I feel like my, my clicking is meaningful. And that that's a nice feeling. Um, also, it, it has the same thing where if you shut the game down and you come back later, you still get credit for the time that you were gone. Um, but yeah, I, I think if you're looking for a, a cookie clicker type um, diversion, this one is very good. So this this is called what? Time clickers? I don't even remember. Time yeah, time clickers. 
and this time rifters thing, uh, I have no idea what that is actually. But that's okay. Um, oh, and it has cloud save stats. So, but I, I think this is actually a horrible waste of time because it it consumes you so much. Ah, I mean, there's lots of other little mechanics you can get into, but but I don't see the point because I think you should just get the game and try it out for yourself. Like I said, it's th it's free. I think the whole the, the the package size is only a couple hundred megabytes, if that. So it, it's really tiny. Uh, the one complaint that I do have is the there's a lot of, of color bleeding in that eventually the background um, starts to hurt your eyes and you can't tell any difference between the background and these cubes and that's that's horrible to look at so so yeah I mean I guess it's a, it's a lot of the more I wonder if uh, reduce particles now post screen effects maybe that gets rid of it oh yeah Get, getting rid of that I think fix, would fix a lot of it because there's a lot of that uh, just blah, lame attempt at MPA the scene and making things soft and cinematic. This is horrible uh, and, and very unpleasant to look at. Um, yeah, I, I don't encourage anyone to ever do things because it makes things look cinematic. That's, that's really just a, a bullshit. Total bullshit thing. So, this is time for the resume. And hopefully I'll actually stop playing this so that I can uh, adjust the video and make it to upload the YouTube. But I might not. I might just sit here and continue to shoot things. 